Okay, so now we're deducing the ions. Where am I here in red? Deducing the ions in a polyatomic ionic compound from its empirical formula, right? <clears throat> well, this is going to be highly dependent on a topic that you learned earlier, and that was identifying common polyatomic ions. Very important that you recognize this, okay? Identifying common polyatomic ions. And as I said in class, I, there's not really a good way to do this besides uh, memorizing them and recognizing them. So there's, you know, there's, some, there's a finite number of, of ions that we have to recognize. So, um, you know, that, that should be some comfort. But in the end, we're just going to have to mem recognize them. Okay. So what I'm going to do, first of all, let's start here at the top. The, I think the, the question stems are, excuse me, always the same. Complete the table below by writing the symbols for the cation and the, and the anion that make up each ionic compound. The first row can, can be completed for you. So you go here and you recognize, hey, I got Cl in there and it's ionic. It's either a cation or an anion. We know the anions go last, so it's just an anion. What anion does, does chlorine make? It makes chloride, right? And you know that an ionic compound means it's neutral. So whatever this other guy is, it has to be the opposite in sign, but the same in magnitude as this one, right? So it's minus one and plus one, and we're good. All right, so let's go on now with the other ones. So I look at this and go, well, this is a polyatomic ion. I recognize OH, aha, okay. That is, say this name out loud. Say it out loud. Hydroxide. My handwriting is horrible today, isn't it? Hydroxide. Hydroxide, okay? So this is hydroxide. Now, if there's three minuses on here, what must this other guy be? Three of that is going to have to take a manganese with a three plus on it, okay? So this is manganese three plus. That's the cation is manganese three plus, and the anion is OH minus. And there's three of them. Can you see that? But we're not told to put down the number of them. We're just supposed to say what it is, okay? So this is hydroxide, because I recognize it. And if there's three minuses, it must be three pluses, so that's manganese. All right, now let's look at this one. Okay, S, I recognize that one. That's sulfide, two minus, okay? And I recognize NH4 plus, right? What's the name of this? Say it out loud. Really, you should. Ammonium, when I'm saying that, I really hope you're doing it. You may feel a little silly if people are around, but. If you say it out loud and spell it and write it and look at it and write out the formula for it, it's just the best way to memorize it, okay? Which is what my, my recommendation for you was in naming polytonic ions. All right, what about this? Okay, I recognize phosphate. Oops, should have let you say it. Three minus, PO4, three minus. It is phosphate, right? If you didn't know that, then I recommend you write it out and you say it. You write out PO4, 3 minus, write out phosphate and say it out loud. Phosphate, okay? Well, it looks like there's only one phosphate for this chromium. So I'm going to write it PO4, 3 minus, and there's only one of them. So it looks like the CR must be 3 plus, right? So this is chromium 3 plus and phosphate uh, 3 minus. All right, let's look at this next one now. BR, I recognize that one because I've memorized it, right? BR minus. What's the name of this? Say it out loud. It's bromide, right? Well, if there's five of them, what's it going to take to make vanadium neutral? Or rather, uh, to make the compound neutral? It's going to take a, min a vanadium 5 plus. Okay? So there's uh, several examples. And I think a good range of examples uh, for this kind of problem. So deducing the ions in a polyatomic ionic compound with, from its empirical formula, and this is uh, the way to do it. So go through and recognize the ions that you know, and then the ions that you don't know, you can get from that. Right? We didn't know chromium, and we didn't know manganese, and we didn't know vanadium, right? Because those are all transition metals. 
All right, hope that's helpful. Sorry for the background noise. My little girls are here in the kitchen uh, baking and we're enjoying each other and enjoying uh, these videos and polytomic ions. All right, look forward to talking to you soon about this.